raised to 100. Now this question has been taken from a website called uh, NZMAX and uh, you can find this example from this uh, address or URL. If you click on this, it will take you to this uh, web page. It's a very interesting question. <clears throat> okay, let's read the question. Two ladybirds, Freda and Fred, were playing a game on a number line. Freda can, Fred can, uh, Fred can jump three squares at a time, and Freda can jump only two. Fred started at one. And Freda started off at 30 squares, 30th square, if they both jumped together, who got that 100 square first and how long did they have to wait for the other one. So say this is Fred, okay, so this is Fred, and Fred started at, at 1, okay, and he can jump two square, uh, sorry, 3 squares at a time. Uh, and... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Fred can start, Fred can jump three squares at a time, so three squares at a time. Okay, so let us at a time. Now, uh, Freda, this is Fred, and this is Freda. Okay, so this is Freda. Freda is uh, starting at 30 and she can jump only two squares. Now the question is, who reached the 100 square first? Okay, now basically the question is, how many jumps did it take for Freda to reach 100? So I've gone only from 1 to 40, just to explain. So what does this mean? So Fred started at 1 and he he started at one okay in the first after the first jump so let me put a one like this after the first jump he was at four so he started at one he's at four the next jump he's at seven the next jump he's at ten and thirteen and so on so the question is for the after the second jump Fred is in seven after the third jump he is on 10 and so on and finally they reach 100 Fred reaches 100 so the question is after how many jumps Fred reached 100 so let us make up a table a simple table so let us say J for jump and say this is number so after the first jump Fred was on Four. After the second jump, seven. After the third jump, ten. And this goes on. And we want to find x where he reaches or where she reaches the hundred square. So can we find a relationship between jump and the number? Okay, so we want to find a relation between number and jump or jump and number. So here yeah, I'm looking at the difference of the numbers. So here yeah, the difference is three. Here yeah, the difference is three. And here yeah, the difference is one. So the gradient is one here. Yeah. So if you want to write an equation between the number of number of square, so you can say number or the number of square is equal to three times j which is a jump number plus one now how did I get this one so if it is four for, for the fourth uh, for Fred to be in the fourth square he he jumped once okay so if you put one here three times one is three plus one is four so it works here if you put two there three times two is 6 plus 1 is 7. If you put 3 there in place of j, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So this does work. Okay, so the number, the relation between number or the square number and jump is number is 3j plus 1. So our question is, if number is 100 square, if 
the number is 100, what should be the jump number? So if you take away 1 from both sides, you can say 3j is equal to 99. So j is equal to 33. So in other words, Fred reached 100 square in the 33rd jump. So this implies Fred reached 100 square, 100 square in 33 jumps, in 33 jumps. I hope that's clear. So let's look at Freda. Now Freda started at 30. Freda is starting at 30 and she can jump only two at, at a time. So two, so this is 32, this is 34 and 36 and so on. So let us make again a column of say the jump number J and the square number which is this. So the first after the first jump, Freda was at 32. After the second jump, 34. After the third jump, 36 and so on. So here you want to reach at X. Let, let us name that as Y here. So Y, Y to jump corresponds to the 100 square. So again here the gradient is, here the rise is 2. Here, the run is one. This is the vertical change, and this is the horizontal change. So here, the number, the relation between number or the square number, and the jump number is two j plus what? So I will think like this: two times one is two, and I want to get to thirty-two. So two times one is two. It has to be thirty. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 30 is 32. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 30 is 34. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 30 is 36. So let us put now 100 in place of the square number. So 100 is 2j plus 30. So if you take away 30 from both sides, you can say 70 is equal to 2j. So j is equal to 35. So what does this mean? This means Freda reached the hundred square, the hundred square in thirty-five jumps. So who reached earlier? Who re the question was? Uh, if they both jumped together who got the 100 square first. So uh, Fred reached the 100 square. So the answer is Fred, Fred reached first. So Fred reached in 33 jumps and Freda reached in 35 jumps. So Fred had to wait so you can say this implies Fred had to wait for how many jumps? For two jumps of Freda. Okay.